Okay, very quick video on hatred. Hatred is actually, a lot of us actually repress the hatred because I'm a nice guy, you know, I don't have hatred. I'm, I'm so holy. It never happens for me uh, and I've never been hateful. No, I mean, the core, I have a, a reptilian brain. And if I'm not connected to spiritual energy, I default into my reptile brain. If I haven't done enough meditation or prayer and uh, have not transcended the ego, I will, you know, turn it into a reptile. I mean, that's what's there waiting for me. I'm a dinosaur or an alligator uh, who's full of hatred and will kill, wants to kill the enemies. You know, how dare you? How dare you? I disagree with me. <laughs> I want to kill you. You know, it's like that. So that's that's what that's the heritage of what I have in my um, animal brain. So without the spiritual energy and spiritual work, I will default to that. So it's natural uh, to accept that I have a reptile brain uh, full of hatred, uh, as uh, as Freud's called it, the id, the dark one, which one doesn't want to own. But I own that. There's a there's a reptile in me. And I, I love it and forgive it and have compassion for it and I let it. And I, if the feelings come up, I just uh, let them come up and don't, don't make a story and let them run out. And uh, I don't make a judgment on it. So let the hatred run out and, and it eventually runs out and you don't have any hatred left in you because it's like a reservoir. It's finite. And the hateful thoughts was just to have the self-forgiveness or release self-attack thoughts or pray for a miracle to see them differently. And then the hatred eventually drains out. But to say I'm, it's not an aspect of the um, of the animal nature until it's transcended is, is actually denial and repression. Okay, I'll stop on there and stop recording.